We are back, guys. One more game for you guys today until we go over towards Miramar or Irangel like that tomorrow. I'm Toby, joined by Imp Do you go by Cormac or Imperium? What do you prefer? Either or. Call me whatever you want. Just don't call me too early in the morning. I feel you like you had that one prepared as well, but that's going to uh, be... No, a I actually <laughs> didn't. But, uh, um, yeah, one more game for you guys. Hey, look, this is my present. My birthday present for you guys at home. I'm giving you a fourth game. Oh, that's how it works out. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah, you. I'm, I'm gift and that keeps Is it also giving. your birthday tomorrow then? Or yeah, yeah. Okay. Just have to make it's sure. My birthday that's all week. Sure. In any case, in any case, <laughs> we will uh, be, be be seeing that final plane of the day taking to the sky and Soktanam, as per usual, jumping out early when it's from the south up towards the north. No surprises there. No tag team. They won't be going down towards Los Leones again. That makes sense to me. Chumacera is going to be taken by Besiktas. They couldn't be asked to go all the way east towards Impala. And other than that, not really any surprises whatsoever. Everyone's settling with um, well, pretty much the way that it has been throughout the entire day. So we've seen pretty standard plane trajectory. Mm -hmm. Standard team drop. I want to see the spiciest of circles coming out for... Ourselves what would that be for home. you? A birthday Ireland. circle? Uh, Ireland. South or east? Uh, south. South Island ending. That would be absolutely horrible. But then again, I mean, if, if that's what My you want birthday. for your birthday, yeah, yeah, exactly. then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to see if the, if the game likes you enough to provide you with one of those. Having got there far up north, they would not like one of those circles, but let's see if that's what we get. <laughs> and there's a chance. A small one, but it's there. Happy birthday to me. Yep, that is, uh, that's as close as you're going to get with that birthday wish. I know, right? But uh, hey, look, it's it's looking for for Z looking good for Zuck De Nam as I do find my English. Um, they performed well with a circle similar mm -hmm. down south mm -hmm. in the first game, as uh, Jeff Clot. Uh, is that kind of a sausage product or now it is? Okay, cool. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. A, uh, a PUBG ish sausage uh, company. It's, uh, it's like one of those versed. Wurst, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I think that just means sausage in German. So yeah. sure, it's a it's a German sausage company yeah. in Mexico. That makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> I mean, that that that's absolutely obvious to me. Don't question the logic, Toby. Don't question the, especially the logic. when there is none. I know. <laughs> there you go. But there's no new question. Don't you question don't what question. isn't there. Yeah, exactly. Of course. Makes no sense. But Circle did go southwest. And of course, we got to keep with some of these rotations coming up in mind. Because honestly, I mean, there are quite a few of these teams on the northwestern side, at least on the northern side of the, the hemisphere, that will uh, <clears throat> not have the easiest of rotations coming in. Because we talked about it in the eastern circle as well. Excuse me, how Las Leones became. And for block off, yep. going east, it has the exact same impact when you want to go west. Either you have to cross over on top, over La Pendita, or you have to go all the way underneath on the southern side and make your way in from down there. And honestly, it's not that easy. I do think that's what the likes of uh, PG-18 and even Avangar as well as uh, Side of Wind side, they mm. could look to do that because I feel by the time they get down there, in Las Leones, it will essentially be covered by one team and be protected and possibly two teams. It's that big. Mm. So I think that would be one of the safest plays that they could make to cut around the, the east, uh, south, and then move in from there. Yeah, I mean, go swing all the way down to Puerto Paraíso pretty much and then just hug the uh, the shoreline all the way. And you could also get a dentist appointment on Miramar. Hmm. That's interesting. When you get your teeth mm. shut out, then uh, you can just head on over to El Poso and and get yourself a bit of a cleanup. That's always useful. Get free, uh, get free uh, curry first. Yeah, my the dad broke his teeth yesterday. Oh, really? On a piece of pasta. Oh, what? Yep. Very. Uh, I presume uncooked. No, it was actually we were at, we were at a restaurant. It was very interesting. Oh. He just like all of a sudden, oh, that's up half my tooth. That's that's unfortunate. Big well, dentist. I presume still. the restaurant were informed. <laughs> they were informed, but okay. it, honestly, I think it was just it was more a case of the tooth than 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 the. Uh, than the, than the than the dish, but in any case, Hope enough about okay. dentist. I mean, he's fine. He's fine. Cool. Enough about the dentist appointments, unless of course, if you're shown more signs with them on, and um, and yeah, this rotation, no no tag team, they'll be making their way in. And honestly, everything here relies on Besiktas and how far more south they go. I wouldn't assume them wanting to leave Jomasero. Um, no. At least they would stay in the southern side up by the hills. 
the the more they stay north, the more they force other teams to either stay where they are or go all the way around. And because teams they won't be wanting to overcommit anything early on in the game, that's gonna make um, that's gonna make it tough potentially. Should they decide to stick around in Chumacero? Um, we talk about tornado energy. Yeah. You mentioned last game they need a good result. They have potential base Nishi on their position outside of four AK moving out mm. towards them as well as quick math, but it, it feels like they're not okay. So it feels like they're kind of going for the the rotate late and kind of hope for the best a little bit. Whereas I feel because they need a good result, they should rotate early and then uh, respond from there. Maybe I'm wrong though. They tend to. I mean, that's the interesting part for for me with. Um with Tornado Energy, they at yeah. least today, it all kind of fell apart in that first game when We Need the Home was allowed to shift underneath them and yeah. uh, and pretty much take them out from a, from a position they probably would have wanted to have. And we were like, mm, they had a closer approach to, I mean, at least theoretically, closer approach towards that area of the map than what power uh, um, what they uh, in We Need the Home could have done from Power Grid. So. Really, uh, really tough breaks for them throughout the day. It's pretty, much, it's pretty much been those like rotation one or rotation two things that have just completely screwed them over. That's why I'd like to see them just rotate that a little bit earlier and, and mm -hmm. go from there. But either way, looking at Desperado, fantastic last game they had, but they had the circle in the essentially the palm of their hands, so to speak. This time, they're rotating in. They haven't left it too late. Um, they will be able to see teams moving in past them, and then they'll be able to respond from there. Yeah, I think that last game with Desperado was a pretty good uh, example of how sure circles can be on you, but yeah. it doesn't always make the win easy, and they were just doing everything they had to in order to take the win. A team that is now struggling a bit, though. Seems to me like being specitas. Tumble gets fragged out by Fex, a little steal on the side, but Lux goes down too, and so the now they're not seemingly too interested in uh, giving up this compound. Well, when you have 63 players alive and you're only seven minutes in, and I'm all for high ground, but the open area high ground, and that circle was so deep south where teams were obviously going to move in, always feel that was going to be a, a risky position for Besitas, and it's no surprise that they have had one member come mm. down for now. I just don't think that Besitas were... Um we're expecting um, something have to, to play from that position. I think that might have been the case. Mailman, now finally we see Tornado Energy with the potential of getting some early game kills on rotations, but not quite the case. Quick math, they do allow themselves to rotate around. And now, I mean, for Tornado Energy, if they don't watch out, they could be the ones being held behind. Of course, just to remind you, there is still a potential of an island finish. Uh, just. Just want to I put feel that like out there. When I've cast it with James, the more we've mentioned it, the less it's happened. Oh, really? So that's why I've kind of gone away. Because I used to be all about that. Ooh, I live. Okay. And, but I feel like if you don't talk about it, then, then it'll just okay. be like, ooh, ooh, there you are. Hello, buddy. Okay, cool. cool. It's okay. hard, though. It's hard not to mention it. Is, it is. <laughs> well, it, it's, it, I've only mentioned it once, so that's my defense. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> he didn't know. It could be enough, though. It could be enough that it shifts away. And now it's your own fault. You've ruined your own birthday present. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. <laughs> well, look at Winside and Avangard. They've left it super late to mm. move down. They're inside the blue zone, but I don't disagree with that for the first couple of phases because. Oh, no, chill. Hey, look, chill. It's not going to do much tick damage, and you're essentially guaranteed to be in a safe position as you rotate down. However, Tornado Energy, we talked about how they need a good result, and they're looking to get on to quick math. They've had one knockdown, but for now, quick math. They're going to be able to survive yeah. for a time being. At least for now, yeah, exactly. They, I mean, sure, they get the rest up here, but they also have to leave the building, right? Desperado, so she fake being shot up by our kill leader from the previous game, Quissy. Not able to land the shots needed. Misa, though, does get taken down by Mailman. Used the time wisely to reposition himself, but he also has to stay aware. And I like what we just saw there. It's a small thing that most viewers might not notice, but that 360 spin around. I've just fired shots. I need to make sure no one's peeking me right now. Really wise awareness coming in from Mailman. Circle popped. No birthdays for you. It's going to go on the mainland. Sad and pure. <laughs> Sad and pure. <laughs> hey, look, I gave you guys this for a fourth game as a birthday present. That makes me happy That's enough as Mac and Dark is going to look to fire shots onto it is seven esports. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll have to see who comes out stronger in that one. And Salenza getting himself knocked here as well. Not going to make things any easier with Misa down already. That should be two quick math players going down and out early on. Of course, they do still have Peltation 2 up and alive further down south. But, uh, well, maybe they'll be on their own trying to make their way into the next circles. Wow, Eyeball, that's a good connected shot at the distance. That was a great connected shot with that M4. Just those single bullets popping off Zakanam have not have never failed to impress me in in today's games mm. to be honest Toby they've looked strong they've looked confident hasn't always gone their way but as I said they've looked confident and strong they've just got to make a make the result turn in their favor but look at this game religion Bjorn yeah that's a nice level of protection it's keeping it as close to the mountain as possible means uh, he doesn't have to worry about every single angle. Some might argue he's a bit lone, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he is. Fex is getting rest on up. Not sure he'll be holding the angle, waiting for his teammates to come on up with him. That's the issue of this terrain. I mean, look at these areas that these guys are fighting in. Sure, you have the high ground, but look at how open it is. I mean, it's extremely hard to keep everything under lockdown. You just cannot prevent teams from doing things when there's so much room to maneuver in. Look how quickly... Zoktanam responds to those circles. I know it's been a, a minute or so since it's come up, but they just moved in from the south to those compound and just responding time after time, and they are asserting their dominance. They're pushing Gamer Legions back. They're pu pushing 70s sports back. Hmm. Even though you have a couple of members of uh, 4AK and, and Quick Math around them, I, as I said, the confidence they're showing, I feel that they will be able to hold on to that compound. Yeah until it's outside the circle. There is a chance, the question whether they'll want to stick around there yep. for too much longer. Paul Derek does get finished off Mailman. There's a third kill coming in for Tornado Energy. I believe that pretty much ties up how many points they've had today overall. So that's a uh, pretty good turn of is events. That, is, that, is that a compliment or? An uh, no. No. It's, it's, a, it's stating that they're doing better. That's why I like to hear. That's why I was just, just, just wondering. Just yeah. wondering. Um, no, I said Tornado Sports. Definitely looking good. Three kills on the board for them as Northern Lights. They're looking to spot out PG Quizzy. You said that he was one of the top killers for his game. Is it going to be a Kobe? No. No. Nope. Uh, not even close. No. Nope. Not even close. Yannick has the distance, fortunately for him. Able to stay put down there. But for how much longer? Quizzy, only 13 bullets in his car 98. Of course, you want to have some more. New circle, though. Where are we going? Well, somewhat send it up. Most teams are in already. And for the guys in the north, well, they have Chumacero to play from. So it shouldn't be the worst of, uh, of scenarios for them. The only hard thing is going to be leaving that city again should he get excluded in the next circle. Looking at Desperado, they've, they're a little bit split two and two. But looking at where um, Fake and Vinken is, mm -hmm. they're by the road in those compounds. There's always a bit of a risk at one of these teams, for, for one of the enemy teams that moves in from the road, that they can get flanked by Desperado. So I, I like where they're positioned for now. And of course, inside the circle. Yeah, I mean, for, for Fake and Calvin, all they have to really worry about is uh, is making their way on up towards Tosera and Kolda, should the circle shift up next time around. I mean, they're really... I mean, I guess you can say they're holding the south spot because right now Tausira and Coldamenta are both in a position where they'll be exposed to that compound should somebody else be taking it. So uh, Fake and, and Calvin, they're sitting down south to make sure that, at least for now, at least for now, no one can uh, do anything to, to kind of mess with their mess with the, their teammates up the hill. Close as 70 Esports and Gamer Legion have been to both each other and Zogda and Nam. Up until a point... Uh, up until this point, and uh, for now, they're doing pretty good to to keep away from each other and to stop themselves from getting squad wiped and getting pushed on aggressively. Mm. As uh, at least seven, they have all four members up at Gamer Legion. They have uh, two or three. Yeah, three guys up on yeah. their feet. Yannick, your soldiers before he did manage to get himself knocked. Eventually, he was only going to stay alive behind that little roll for so long. Fake. And just spot up Windside as they come rotating in, but he's going to get chance fired in his direction too, and now he's going to be forced to fall back. Yeah, I thought that was a good position for them, but if you're getting uh, put under pressure with shots, it's not going to be looking too good for them. But look at Windside. They're finding seven. They know where they are. The grenades are going to come out left, right, and center. Try to reposition seven, 
put them under pressure and as a four man squad they got nice position however frank he's flanking around he knows where a couple of members yeah. are and he's putting himself well clear well inside they uh they have a compound to work with yep sure moon was down but he's back up on his feet and seven they really uh i'm not sure that the wiser play would be to full-on commit to this push here they have a chance to just roll back rotate around the side of course we don't know where the next circle is headed but for now don't waste all that utility for a dead fight. Just fell all back down. Get that high ground position. Make sure no one tried to third party you as you were on that side. Keep in mind that, I mean, Seven, they had a pretty good six kill third place in the first game. We just haven't really seen them be back on up there since then. Fully agree with you as you see. Tornado Energy looking for Zuckton Nam. However, T-Bone has that mini 14 he's up on top of the hill Ooh. they're dominating the area but this next circle toby yeah. is gonna reposition a lot of teams fairly quickly nine out of 16 teams make that 10 with we need a home are not inside this yep. circle and the fact of the matter is that the entire southeast like from pt all the way down to where desperados are that's a huge open field then you have Besiktas, two players alive. They're sitting in a compound that's probably going to crash within a couple of seconds. And then everything west of that is just a huge mountain ridge. So there really is not a whole lot to play from in this circle. And we have nine teams looking to try and take whatever is available in the next couple of minutes. That is not going to be easy. And there's only 20 seconds to go until this circle starts closing in. All the while, still 70 sports. Um, win side are fighting down that area down the yeah side. i think i think seven they yep. wanted to try and get them on some rotations but didn't really uh didn't really work out that way it seems like the sprout they have indeed pushed up and away from that compound makes perfect sense of course and now they're trying to hold the angle here with multiple teams around them yeah you've got desperado you've got northern lights however northern lights are a little bit split into two teams of two so they could get put under pressure however calvin gets knocked down Ooh. they're out in the open great play coming out yep. from moon windside helping northern lights and you can see this is what i was talking about before how yep. this compound down here with tau Sierra and cold Amenta being up the hill calvin and fake they needed it because as soon as that's taken by other teams all of a sudden the position they had before is completely unplayable now to turn attention on the Avangar who are looking for four angry kids trying fire shot in distance born looking for a northern lights they're gonna put them under pressure that's two knockdowns that is three knockdowns and putting northern lights down to essentially one member left and no is it one or two two guys left two guys left my apologies <laughs> no worries but Lux and Besiktas, yep. they uh, they have a tough task ahead of them. They got pretty much the only viable compound that is inside the city. And uh, they need to do everything they can to hold it off. Cold Amenta by himself, got himself a flash onto Gift. It took down Moon as well, but then it's all. He was not going to let him get the team wide Fex now as well. Getting all the flushes in the world, securing points for Game of Legion. Bjorn did go down, but still three guys alive up on the hill. The chance of getting a lot of damage done. 18 minutes in and we have yet to lose our first team. This is going to be a hurting one for a lot of these guys once they do start falling out. But it's 48 players. So yeah. we've had a lot of these teams wiped from four-man squads. Then to, of course, three, two, mm. one lone wolves that could be flying around. I don't think there is actually any lone wolves in fairness. Um, could soon change it. No, that's one member. That's fake is solo. Yeah, yeah fake, fake is solo. solo. But uh, seven near fake season. Yeah, the building now he gets taken out by the boom. Secures himself the kill. Now game of legion. Getting spotted out by seven as well. Multiple teams with a chance to engage in this run with a good off angle. Spots out the first one. He has to fall back down in the second. Not before he gets the knock on towards number two. Two Buster goes down and Hamster coming around the corner trying to secure some kills. Just one player left alive and that is going to be all of seven eliminated. You have to be quick now though because you know when slides nearby and Hamster fortunately spots them out. Doesn't want to commit to the grass. Of the rest on towards Bjorn with that being the second time oh, coming no. in for him. That should be him down. Hamster down to 20 HP. Oh, no. Nate's in and then number two takes him down. However, <gasps> all the while. Oh, the boom. Secures himself a triple. The boom with the boom with the grenades pushing Windside up into this game. We're down to 13 teams all of a sudden. 39 players live. Windside has all the room in the world to move around with any real pressure. Of course, there is a 
side of tornado energy that are kind of close in, but they are focused on Zuck and Am right now. Yeah, they're sitting in the uh, one of the tough sides of the circle, of course. Not easy to fight from. You can see the plateaus they're sitting on. They have Avangar sitting above yeah. them too, so you really have to pick and choose your engagements wisely, not to be uh, third party from behind here. Final two members of We Need Home, Lipson, Rip9, trying to do their best to move in without being spotted as the blue zone is closing in on them. They gotta be a little bit careful. Oh no, Avangar took the wow. grenade after grenade. Nixie gonna try in. He's gonna get two knockdowns all the while. Third we Need knock. a Home, knockdown indeed. Is this gonna be the squad wipe? Is it gonna be Avangar going down in 12th place? Nades and Grosser, name a better duo for up close battles. That is extremely well played by him. Nixie though does go down, couldn't find Maxis or but it's not over just yet. More players are coming in. Northrest, though, pleasure pride from behind. Fortunately for Avangar, he's going to be forced back down and heal on up. He was committed to that push on forward, but because shots were being fired from behind him, he had to get back down and heal. Yeah, we need a home trying to do their best to get a couple of knockdowns, potentially a couple of kills, and of course, drive on forward into this game. You're asking for a better duo than the Groza and Grenades. I'm going to say chocolate wow. cheese. But well, look at this going down. Riddle Esports just drive on through, take down Avangar. I believe they also took down... Um, a couple of other players, I believe. No, they took down no, three of the players, no, and that was just, I mean, the third party is getting third yep. party. That's uh, that's what happens when you overcommit to one thing. Okay, bro, tries to do the damage needed towards Arco. Not gonna happen. Hanny bro, spotted out by Northrest and his teammate Avoki. He was not anticipating there to be anyone down there, but he sure as hell was in for surprise. Ten teams, twenty-seven players alive. PG-80 knocking down Moon Wolf left, right, and center. All the while, Zaktan Am still staying as a four-man squad. You got two members of 4AK close to him. The next circle has been revealed. Ridley Sports looking good, but look, no tag team. They have compound, mm -hmm. their protection. They have the circle. They don't really have to do much other than just kind of peak fire, peak of fire, and hope yeah. they get those kills. They need to value whether they want to stay with good cover or yeah. take a spot that's going to be potentially better for the next circle. Because right now, yeah. I mean, they're in a, one of the only <laughs> well, really playable spots in the circle, but it also could come to bite their butt should the next one shift out from this area, because that's going to mean everybody with their eyes focused towards them. No wolf proning. Rezu. Two spots. One gets spotted in return. That is it, Rezu. Down for the count. <laughs> that is, uh... <laughs> Yep, uh, Moonwolf squad right down to nine teams, 25 players alive. He did the best that he could yeah. in the moment. You know, being prone, trying to get a, a bit of a knockdown or a kill before you get taken out. In that situation, the best he could do. However, really sports, 4AK and Zuckdenam or close to each other. Yeah, they all have to make their way around this uh, <laughs> this really tough hillside area. You can see quick math. I believe uh, North was spotted out the uh, Peltish in the south side there, but now he's starting to realize that there are indeed a multiple teams up there. Pelsius, though, thrown down. He's going to get spotted out, too. Windside does go down, but the boom and then it's all they could get some uh, got some kills with it. And got to give it tornado energy. We've been missing you all day, but four guys alive now. And they have already accumulated six kills. It's nice to see you, my friends. Turn it's around. nice to see you, indeed. Also trying to hold off Havaki, does manage to get the first one in, and that's going to be Vasco with the finish up on Northwest. So all the four angry kits eliminated. In the meantime, Millman, oh, we gotta gotta play that position wisely. Holy Lord, Pelsich from up close took out one. That's going to be the finish up as well. I was not ready for a player sneaking around the corner there at all. Great play. That's how you get the best of that situation for quick math, Pelsi. As you point out, gets one kill. However, look at Ultra from Besitas. He sees PG. He's going in strong. He see, also sees Pies. That is great play coming out from Lux and the rest of this Besitas team. Important plays being made there, that's for sure. Trying to stay alive for as long as possible. There have been two players up for quite a while now. As you can see here, Ultra doesn't want to give up anything as far as his position knows. There's a player just on the other side, spotted Nemereth out. He's going to spot number two as well, and somehow he gets down Ultra, not able to take down Nemereth. No, that was extremely close, and Nemereth, 
Nem wow, Nemereth just uh, exactly manages to stay alive there. All the while, no tag team actually squat end up finishing off Besitas by taking down Ultra, I believe yep, it was. Yeah, Lux, Lux went down yep. in the end. Lux, there, yeah. I mean, yeah. Nobody inside the final circle. Huh, that's going to be interesting. Nemereth goes down, Kampa secures a kill, and that's going to be seven of those in favor of Tornado Energy. Now, there is a loot crate there. <laughs> Who goes no, for it? Well, okay, here's my theory. Bring it. A team can, or one Look or two members. Look at this position before you talk. <laughs> it's a pancake. I'm, so, I'm, I'm not saying it's a good theory. I'm not saying it's a good theory, Toby. But here's my theory. Yeah. One or two members, uh, or at least one, can use a loot crate as, a, as at least a way to get into the circle deep as a bit of a spotter for the rest of the team and communicate. He might go down, but I, I'm not saying it's the correct way to do, and I know you're kind of cringing because it's probably wrong, <laughs> but hey, look. I'll hear you out, I'll hear you out, yeah, yeah. Sometimes the, the crazy play is the one that works yeah. out. All I'm saying here is that, I mean, yeah, look. He, he would most likely get killed yeah. before. Either before he got there or, or the second he got there. Yeah. But I agree with you that sometimes, I mean, that's one of those where, guys, we have absolutely nothing we can do. At least there's some sort of cover over there, right? And that could be the play for, for, for one player to make. But I think with the positions that these guys are in right now, I'm, I'm not seeing it happen. Yeah. <laughs> and now, no tag team, you got to give them credit because you do see... Uh, Jupesk and give it. They have got the high mountainside. They're looking pretty good. Yeah, they're so trying far. to buy themselves. Yeah, some they time are here. trying to buy themselves some time. However, all the while Tornado Esports down to the top three teams. They have got seven kills. They want to get into double digits, I'm sure, because they're looking, they're sniffing, they smell the blood of the enemies right inside. However, no tag team gets the knockdown on the page, gets that kill, but Kampa in the distance is going to look for it, but not without getting knocked wow. down himself by O'Connell. O'Connell second not coming in for him. That should buy give it some time to crawl on back towards his teammates. You saw Sokhtin now before as well. There were three six to jump in down the mountain. They knew all they had to do was sprint on forward and hope for something. But fortunately, both Kumpen and Melman back up on their feet now. That was extremely close and way too close for comfort. Losing two players to O'Connell there just before. Fortunately, though, as you said, able to stay put for now. But new circle's going to pop in. Where are we headed? We're going to go send the north. Mm. Interesting. Uh, it does mean Tornado Energy have to rotate. They have a little bit of time for now, but they definitely, if they want to get into the circle, they have to move out sooner rather than later. All the while, yeah. Zokta Nam has it under their control with that little bit of high ground as well. Zokta Nam is in a, you could arguably say, freebie spot right now yep. because they don't have to worry about what's above them because as soon as a player, you can see right now Vasco is looking up, but as soon as these players would be above them, no tag would be shooting at them pretty much immediately. At least I would yeah. assume so, right? So, uh, but of course, that's going to be their main concern until they know for a fact whether the Tornado players are pushing over on their side or if they're going down towards the southeast. And, well, fortunately for Sukdanam, it is the east that has been picked and choosed by the uh, Tornado team. So, we'll see how they play it from here. They have yet to make their way inside the circle. They have another 50 meters to go. And it's a 50 meters and miles out in the open. I give credit to no tag team. I like that they're actually splitting as two pairs of two, recognizing that it gives them the best area of vision. Hmm. Yes, of course, the, the fear is that kind of if, if two gets taken out or you know there's no revives there available, but it just gives them the best perspective, get best survivability from a standings point of view alone. Oh. However, that oh. nade is going to throw it. Little bit too far, but it's not going to stop him trying to get it. That never gets knocked out. Right in his face. Not a whole lot more you could do there, unfortunately. First one's too far, second one's right on the money. And O'Connell now taking a lot of damage. And as you can see, have Asko and Sokta now still. They're looking up the hill. T-Bone got knocked, so that's going to be the rest coming on in. Nine kills for Sokta Nam so far. And they really want to get at least a second place here. Those double digit, double digit kills would really help in the overall stand is not going to stop O'Connell from once again being put under a lot more pressure with that health he is very very low as Kompok gets taken out by Vasku yeah, it's going to be a hard one so the num 10 kills they sure have woken up here today you were asking for them to step it up 
And they got themselves a win in game two, I believe it was it game one. And now they have yep. the potential of taking yet another one here. Only being three guys alive. Four, though, on their feet. No tag team. And this ain't going to be easy. Aaliyah, nade in hand thrown forward. Vassar gets the knock on towards O'Connell as well. So now I'm prone down. That's definitely the best position he can be in right now. Nays being thrown at left, right, and center. They know that no tag team are in that direction. Zuck then Nam, they're kind of separating. T-Bone is going in there. He gets that kill onto O'Connell. Finally, Vasco do some work, and O'Connell gets taken out from that point of view as Zuck and Nam still continuing on, but they get Boom. a little bit of damage taken. That nade comes down. Vasco is knocked down. Yeah, yeah, there's no way now he's getting back up on his feet. Unfortunately, T-Bone tried to flank around. Vasco uh -oh. is taken down. He does get the knock and the finish up onto one, though, so stays alive for a little while longer. And now, even though it says six players alive, we have Millman and Vasco knocked, so it's a 1v1v2. 1v1 1v2. Make that a 1v2. Not a whole lot more to do with here. Eros and give it up against the Leah, the latest addition to the Tornado Energy Squad. Fires. Yeah, that so Molotov winner. gave up the position, yeah. and uh, <laughs> unfortunately for Leah, goes down and out. Not a whole lot more Ooh. to be done there, unfortunately. But interesting way to finish things off for sure yeah. for a final game of today. So Vietnam, really good performance there. We saw just it was just a crazy ending. I mean, you got into the field like that, you really got to be creative with your positioning. Yeah, looking at the end, they they kind of they split up, mm -hmm. and I don't think that was the right thing to do in that moment. Um, of course, it's always risky because you're close together. You don't really have that much protection. They were definitely trying to make the best of their situation. But I do feel when you saw no tag team, they were kind of staying as two pairs of two. Mm. And that that would have been the best thing for Zuck and them to have done in that moment. It would have just given them a much better man advantage because he didn't really do much with those separate flanks. No, there was, uh, there was not a whole lot they could do. I think what they were trying to do is split out so that should nades come towards them. They that's knew that true. 